Hey, good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Jay. Today is July 14th, 2010 and we're on the sixth step of the seven steps to success. And the one today is thankfulness. Okay, so let's get right into Jay's quote for today. It says, be thankful for what you have you will end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never, ever have enough. And that was by the lady that knows Miss Oprah Winfrey. Having enough. Yep, I think she knows about that one for sure. Okay, so let's get right into uh, Jay's thoughts for the day on thankfulness. And I'm going to start out by going with a couple of definitions. And I, I kind of think this helps. And it says, thankfulness, a virtue and a dynamic, activates the law of attraction. And then it says, thankfulness, a positive emotion involving a feeling of indebtedness. Okay. Um, I'm going to read just for a few minutes before I talk directly from this ebook that is available to those that want it. You just got to send me a letter. Oh, I'm sorry, email. Email. No letters nowadays. Email. At boss, B O S S, cash, C A S H, 77 at gmail.com. Again, that's bosscash77 at gmail.com. And I'll send you a PDF copy of the seven steps to success. Okay, so here we go. It says, attitude affects so many things in life. Salespeople are told to maintain a positive mental attitude because it ultimately affects their sales. Sports people are told to cultivate a winner's attitude because it affects their performance. The laws of success tell us to cultivate a grateful attitude, but why should thankfulness affect our success? It may be difficult at first to see exactly how thankfulness or gratitude can be such an important key to your success, but by seeking to maintain an attitude of gratitude, you are indeed tapping into the timeless law of success. Thankfulness is fundamentally related to positive and negativity. I'll read it again. Thankfulness is fundamentally related to positivity and negativity. It is so much easier to be positive about your life and the things that are going on in it right now when you are grateful. As A.W. Tozer once commented, a thankful heart cannot be cynical. Okay. On the other hand, having an attitude of gratitude impacts your uh, countenance and your general outlook on life. And people generally would prefer to work with happy, cheerful, grateful people than miserable downcast merchants of doom and gloom. As a consequence, truly grateful people literally attract opportunities that others miss or even possibly rebel. You know, um, that was full of so many nuggets, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say after that. This I do know. When you are grateful for what you have, for what you have, meaning for what you've accomplished in your life so far, then uh, it's easier to be grateful for the things that come. I believe to go through life humbly. You know, I know that everything that I receive is a blessing and I'm very, very thankful. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my wife's health, for the health of my whole family. Okay, I'm thankful that I had a grandmother that, that at the age of, I don't know, three, four, drug us to church. Okay, you know, actually she was Pentecostal, so you know we were there on Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. We didn't know what it meant that. I'm thankful for the covenant that she made with God to protect us as a family. Okay, so we have a lot to be thankful. No, you may not have reached your dream yet. You can see it. You can see the vision. You can see it happening. Okay, but be thankful for where you're at right now. Be thankful for being alive. Be thankful for having your your health and the other things in success. They will come. You just have to have belief and have faith that your vision will come to pass. Okay, so look. 
And thank you for the the uh, uh, listening to my lesson for today. I'm always appreciative of anyone that watches Wake Up With Jay. And I pray that I'm giving you some hope and believe that you can accomplish anything in life that you want to have. It is totally yours. Okay? I have so much to be thankful for. I could use up probably the whole 10 minutes talking about it. Remember, I'm 63. Okay? And still have more dreams to accomplish. So what I want you to do for today, I want you to please go out and bless someone. And do it with your heart. Okay? You know, when I say bless, let me clear it up. Okay? Blessing can be... Um, Telling Mary she has a nice dress on. Or John, it's a beautiful tie you got. Or wow, that's a gorgeous smile that God's blessed you with. Or man, that's an awesome car that you're driving. Or where did you get those beautiful shoes? Okay, It doesn't mean that you, you know, um, when I say bless them, when you have to bless them with money, bless them with your heart. Okay? And you will be rewarded. Remember, it's a boomerang. You can't stop it. So, when you're out there blessing someone, please, please, as I say every day, be sure to tell them who sent you. Alright? And your blessings will be fulfilled. God bless you. Have an awesome day. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh yeah, Jay sent you. Bye now.